Taking a look at the satellite picture here, you can see the rain that is the remnants of yesterday's storm. We are dry down here in Sacramento. Reno, they're still picking up a couple of snow showers that aren't really showing themselves on the radar. But we're going to begin clearing out for the next couple of hours down here in the southern end of the valley. Up here, up here in Redding, maybe in the Shasta County area and along the coastal mountains, you're still going to be getting those on and off showery type rain and snow showers throughout the rest of the afternoon. Maybe even an embedded thunderstorm as one of those stronger showers moves into the area. And so this was yesterday's storm. I'm going to show you the Fox 40 futurecast because I think this really does a good job of showing us where we were and where I expect us to be going for the next couple of days. Here you can see this is where we were Wednesday 3 a.m. This was this morning. We're dry here in the Sacramento area blob of some light green, maybe even a little bit of darker green in there. That's snow in the mountains. It's still doing a good job of showing where the snow showers are and where they're going to be for the next couple of hours. This is where we are later this afternoon. As you can see, we're still dry in the Sacramento Valley. And what's cool is that the Fox 40 Futurecast does a really good job of showing where the Sierra Nevada mountains are. So you can see these blotches of green and gray showing almost a really good profile up and down north south of where the mountains are sitting. And so what happens when showers like this move into the areas, the mountains do a really good job of enhancing them and so they end up providing all this extra uplift that ends up keeping the showers and snow showers trapped over the mountains at least for the time being. Thursday afternoon really does a good job of showing that. Here you can see showers up and down the Sierra Nevada, little green and little gray splotches showing where the snow is going to be sitting even here over the Clear Lake and Northern Bay uh, mountains as well. Moving this map forward into Saturday tomorrow, Saturday morning we're completely dry and the big impact of this system as it has moved out of the area is going to be the colder temperatures which are going to be making their way in. Here you can see a look at the satellite shot showing the system that did bring us a little bit of rain. It's moved its way into the central coast and is going to be pushing south and east throughout the rest of the day. The big story with this is this cool and showery big blob of air you can see off of the coast. It's clear and as a result of that clear air the temperatures are going to be falling. So I'm going to move the satellite in just a little bit further because you can see the showers are still kind of hanging around over the mountains. We're dry in the valley for the time being and we're clear in the valley for the time being. But like I said earlier, this big blob of cold air is going to be making its way into our area. And so this morning, this morning we were cold. We hit a low of 39 here in downtown Sacramento. And so it's a lot colder than where we have been for the past couple of weeks. I know it's starting to warm up a little bit. It's feeling a little bit more like springtime. Tomorrow's going to be a completely different story. Tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., maybe 6 a.m., when we get our lows for the day, we're going to be cold. Right now our forecast is 36 degrees, which is three degrees colder than where we were today. And if you thought today was cold, tomorrow's going to be that much colder. In fact, tomorrow's low is going to be the coldest low here for the seven day forecast. Taking a look at the seven days, you can see this Wednesday right here, the low of 36 is the low, lowest low of the week. And taking a look Friday, Saturday, Sunday, moving our way out into the week, we're gonna be warming back up to where we should be for spring. I know I'm a big fan of the warm weather. We're gonna be back up into the high 60s and low 70s by the end of the weekend, which is going to make for a very, very nice weekend. Moving out Monday and Tuesday, maybe a little bit more cloudiness. I still expect it to be sunny for the most part, but we're gonna be right where we should be for high temperatures in the mid 60s to upper 60s for us in the Sacramento Valley.